Alright team, in this video I have completed the primary painting of the deck of the boat. It came out fantastic, I love it. There are some glitches which I'll show in this video. Drill the dad, all the work. In the first part of this video I am mounting the old swim brackets so I can get a look at the swim deck on the boat and start thinking out how I'm going to attach this with the removable brackets that I'm swapping it to. I am mounting the original brackets with the top two bolts only. The third lower bolt holes have been filled in and fiberglassed over. I will reuse these two top holes with the small L brackets that used to support the middle of the swim deck. The new swim deck brackets are the same geometry as the old outer brackets. That's how I ordered them and I thought that's going to be fine. Unfortunately, as you move towards the center of the boat, the curvature change is blowing up all hopes of a clean swap over. I had realized this about a month ago and have decided to utilize the new brackets on the opposite side that they were intended to be used on, creating a duck footed bracket mount. The pitch angle of the transom also changes as you approach the center, which I am investigating here. In measuring this pitch angle, I find that the sides are not symmetrical. I measure a quarter of an inch of taper on one side and 7 16 on the other. This sends me down a rabbit hole of verifying that the two brackets are indeed symmetrical. I verify that they are indeed symmetrical and I head inside with a whole new problem to figure out. I stare at the swim deck for a really long time trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I tackle a small project with the cup holders that need to go into the boat. I bought used cup holders off of Craigslist and they are kind of old and dingy and so I have to prep those and give them kind of a cool paint job. Here I am removing all the old glue around and under the rims of the new cup holders. On the driver's side of the boat, I have a bit of an issue where I thought I was going to gel coat it for the final coat, however I used the epoxy based fairing compound on it and so I needed to switch to paint and I've primered it, but now I actually have to do the painting of the floor. I'm going to pull up the masking from the deck paint job and then remask for the floor painting. Once I had the masking pulled up from painting the deck, I moved on to sanding the floor. I used a hand sander with 150 grit sandpaper. My wife's vacuum makes another appearance. I then finished masking the space, then cleaned the area with the Total Boat de-waxer and surface prep. Mix 
take some paint and roll on the first coat of snow white paint onto the driver's side floor. For the second coat of paint, I am reusing paint from the first coat. I sealed the old bucket with a latex glove and wrapped the roller in cellophane. Before I paint again, I add a little of the reducing agent until the paint is at the correct thickness, then apply. Over in the corner there, I am applying the first coat of paint to the cup holder. Seal the roller and the bucket back up and I'm ready to paint in the morning. After sleeping on it, I decide I need to sand out the paint from the cup holders so that I can apply primer and get proper paint adhesion. After two coats of the paint, I realize that we're ground down to bare fiberglass. The paint is not going to cover that. So then I go back over those specific spots with primer and then a touch up paint on top of that. I clean out the cup holders with the de-waxer and surface prep and do my best to get all the gunk out of the bottom with a stick. I mix the last of my primer. Prime the small spots inside the boat that are showing fiberglass and then prime the cup holders. Then I take on taping and masking the accent stripes, which I'm doing on the nose of the boat. This was my first time taping out an accent stripe of any kind. The only thing I knew was that I needed this special yellow frog tape that comes in a sealed container. Then I just went for it. came out really, really well. The shapes were awesome. I could have been a little more accurate with how close I get to the nose, but no one's gonna notice, and I'm really, really pleased with how they came out. To get the corners to be rounded and look nice, I used a razor blade and just trimmed out tape at the end, and that came out great as well. Then mask a line of blue tape, leaving a gap between the yellow and the blue so that I can put a yellow rip cord in at the end. Uh, to the blue tape went the paper, and that was as far as I went with masking on top. I still have the sheeting below, so I did not need to add anything there. I attempted to roll in sparkle, and you'll see me add the sparkle and roll on those accent stripes. I love the shape of the accent stripes. They came out fantastic. Gives me a ton of confidence in the future. I can do it. I went around all the seams, pressing firmly, looking for a good adhesion so I have clean lines. I clean the area with the de-waxer and surface prep. I did the touch-up painting, covering what I had primered earlier.
I then switch rollers and mix up a fresh batch of paint to add the sparkle and hopefully make some super sparkly, awesome accent stripes. That is the sparkle. It is an ice blue color that Bryce is very excited about. Here I go, rolling on a sparkle accent line. For whatever reason, I start the bedtime session by mixing up paint, but then move over to the swim deck to get a little accomplished and then eventually move back to the paint. Uh, the swim deck was cracked on this boat, I think because of the way it was mounted. My swim deck was originally mounted with the full angle arms on the outside here and here and two little support things here and here. Then the, the swim deck cracked right here because it was obviously bowing in the middle. So the first thing I tackle is just repairing this crack right here. I get it all pinched up. I use the waterproof wood glue. I laid it in thick. I clamped it all together, got it really tight. And then I got this middle piece in here, which is gonna be my secondary brace to it. This is teak that I bought off of the internet and I cut it down to size a while ago and finally got to it. So when I got to this point, I was already prepped, which was nice. I move back to the front of the boat for painting and make sure to get a coat of paint inside the cup holders. The cup holders are getting the speckled paint. My hope is that they're just a nice little accent in the boat when it's finished. I move back to the swim deck One of the conclusions I came to after seeing that the two brackets had two different measurements, I realized that I need to true up the swim deck before I do any additional measuring. So that's why I'm doing this repair at this phase, so it'll be solid and straight, and whatever measurements I get after it's repaired will be the true measurements when I mount it on the boat. I piloted all my holes and I screwed in here, 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 and here. Four screws along the front, here, 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 and here. Five screws along the back. The old screws were capped with some wood. I didn't cap them. I think it looks fine with the screw. I don't mind at all. It's repaired. Came together super strong, super sturdy. I glued all the seams, made sure I had a ton of glue. It's now a continuous seam of glue all the way around so I don't have water seeping in there. I'm really happy with it. We have been out on the boat quite a few times now and when you stand on the swim deck, it is rock solid and it's one of the things I'm more proud of in this boat build. It's totally firm. It's a good deck, there was no need to go out and buy something new. It's an oldie but a goodie, and with a little paint job, it's gonna look dynamite. This is the third accent stripe painting. Here's the fourth coat. Will this accent stripe sparkle the way I want it to? Maybe. I'm painting with white paint, not clear paint, and I'm rolling it instead of spraying it. We will see if I can buff this out and actually get some sparkle to work. This is the fifth and final coat. 
my hope was that if I did enough coats, thickening up the paint enough, that when I buff in with some kind of buffing agent, that the sparkles stay in and I can remove the paint around the sparkles. I went to bed and then I realized I wanted to pull my rip cords before the paint got too dry. So I got out of bed, came downstairs, put my clothes back on, and pulled the rip cords so that I would have a little bit tackier of a paint that would peel off. And it worked out great. Uh, the lines are all primo. Um, if that thing was actually sparkling, I'd be through the moon about it, but I don't even know if it sparkles yet. So. that paint dry until the next nap time when I probably still shouldn't be around it but I pulled all of the masking and got it open to the sun and a little bit of air open in the garage door uh, and then Bryce comes out and Bryce and I shoot what is going to be the post paint walkthrough video which will come out next a bumper what? and then the oh don't touch that that's fresh paint oh. there's kind of bubbles in there there are kind of bubbles in there that's the sparkle uh. we'll talk about that later bryce oh i got some wicked dry spots right there bryce those are annoying oh well oh dad we don't did them i know i know it's too super obvious that's Oh, it is embarrassing, you're right. Look closely in the next clip where I rub my hands and you'll see where I have a couple dry spots. I did oh, not gosh. get enough paint on the nose of the boat during paint. Are you gonna be able to sand those out and polish them? I might be able to buff them, Bryce, we will see. Oh, it's so bad. Yes, Bryce, do we wanna pull up this tape and paper now? Which I think maybe we should. Yeah. No way, it's not. Just on here, how bad is this going to be to pull up? Give me like the rest of it. Such a pain. Uh, Dad? Oh, this isn't too bad. No, that's not the trash can. The trash can's on the other side. So throw it, go ahead and throw it all the way out there. Even though I get less than half the work done, it's really fun to have my assistant Bryce in the boat helping with the project. Masking from the dash panel. The white tape has definitely gunked up where I was masking over the vinyl, and I spent a little time trying to clean that up as much as I can.
Because I had forgotten to paint the cup holders on a few of the coats when I was masking the nose, I do one final coat of paint inside the cup holders with the sparkle paint. I feel like post paint, now I am progressing up. Everything from here on out is getting closer to the water. It's building the boat back up. No longer am I destroying. Uh, this is a really fun time of the project. So I'm doing everything I can to make these videos better. Um, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comments below. And if you're interested in watching this boat get put through all the way to completion on the water and ripping, then stick around, subscribe, and hit a thumbs up button to tell me that I don't totally suck. Thank you. Drill the dad, all the work. It's not a lot of work, but it sure is a lot of work.